Lindsay loves isolation. She doesn't want us to ever leave her. <laughs> well guys, I'm at my parents' place doing my makeup by the window because there's just nowhere with good lighting other than here. So I grabbed a mirror and set it up and I'm getting ready to leave to go back to Edmonton. So Dax and I decided to come to my parents' place because um, TJ went to do some ministry in San Diego and we live in Canada, so things with the COVID-19 got worse after he left. Originally, we thought he could travel there, come back, no problem, and then they changed things to saying that you have to, you know, uh, quarantine for 14 days once you return back to Canada from the States. When we found that out, I was at home with Dax and we decided to just jump in the car, come to my parents' place by the time TJ got home so that we didn't have to isolate, so that Dax and I could go do stuff because if he had to be quarantined once we were in contact with him, whether he had been sick or not, we had to stay home for 14 days. So I stocked the house with food and um, I already had toilet paper, plenty of toilet paper. So Dax and I packed up and left. And actually it was really sad because we had, hadn't made it out of the house by the time TJ got home. So then um, Dax cried because he had to say goodbye on the front, like on the sidewalk and stay back and he couldn't hug him. So I gave Dax a hug because he needed someone to hug and he cried, he was sad about it. And that's my fault. I was mad at myself because I was like, trying to get out of the house so that that didn't happen because I knew it would be hard to see him and not be able to hug him for a kid. You know what I mean? Like, um, anyways, so then that was my bad. I'm really not great at being fast. Here's Paisley. She just heard a noise. She's sat on my lap because she's very worried. She knows we're packing to go. So then when we got to my parents' house, they changed things again several days later saying that if you know, no matter who you are, you need to self-isolate and stay away from people. Um, you know, the whole, is it two meter rule? Whatever it is, you know. So, Paisley, what do you think? So anyway, it changed to being that we couldn't really see people anyway. Originally, I thought that if we came to my parents' place, they live an hour and a half from us, we could go see friends and play. And like I have lots, we used to live near my parents so we have lots of friends here and so we had one play date with one friend didn't even see his cousins before they changed all this and also my sister is a nurse and so she is kind of like you know she's in the front lines anyway so she's dealing with potentially infected people with covid so being that she is working the front line her kids are in touch with her all the time and so we could not see them we just stayed away from people this whole two weeks so we had my parents which was fun and I think this is good though because it broke things up for us and my parents as much as this is the longest that we've been away as a family since we got home from Jamaica um, a year and a half ago but thank God for FaceTime we kind of snapped back into our life in Jamaica in a sense because it was you know praying at bedtime with daddy on FaceTime and um, oh he just texted me anyways so we gotta get on the road. I'm gonna go eat something quick. Dax is eating something quick with grandma and grandpa. I'm gonna go join them. And then um, we're gonna head out and head home. Last so game of Uno and I won. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, she did. Yeah. I did what? and somebody's what? having a hard time what? accepting what? that mommy's so good at games. Okay, just so you know, you lost to grandma in that spelling no. game. Oh, that's another game from a oh. long time ago. Oh! <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Let's go get in the car. No. One more round. He wants to stay with Grandma. <laughs> yep, he does. He really <laughs> wants to stay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I, ju I just won again. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom won. won. I won. I won. No. I won. Look at my hands. Look at my hands. I won the, la won the last game. <laughs> <laughs> and we're getting in the car now, aren't we, ducks? Because it's time to go. <laughs> Got my boots on, on. And she's so worried we're gonna leave her behind. We're not gonna leave you behind. You're so worried. It's time to hide. <laughs> I just so came all worried. the way over here. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
no. jealous of the affection. No. <laughs> I will take her away from you oh for a gosh. little while. He's so jealous of my There opinion. you go. You're welcome. Oh boy. I'm just loading some things out into my car. My amazing dad gave me an oil change this morning, so I don't even have to do that. And he said that all he had was synthetic oil, so now I don't have to change my oil for like 10,000 kilometers or something like that. A long time. My big helper. Take your shoes off of here. I'm a bad guy. Oh. Okay, here, I'll help you. Oh. Got my big suitcase. Oh, I miss TJ. He lifts my suitcases for me. Oh. My dad can't lift it because he recently had surgery, surgery on a hernia. I gotta put this down so I can lift that. All right, we're, we're all packed up. We are going home. To daddy. I want to leave. <laughs> you're, not leave. You're not leaving us, are you? Yeah, we are. Oh, 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 well, we, I'm we staying. Had a, How are we going to get along we're, with we're, it? We're keeping the kid. You can't find him. He's lost. Are you going to stay here? Yes. Okay. No, well, you missed daddy. Ho, 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 and everything like that. We'll see you later. <laughs> he says he's the tooth fairy. Yes, he uh -uh. tooth fairy. <laughs> Easy. Come on. As soon as, as, soon as the snow stops. Finally, we left Grandma and Grandpa. Finally. I don't want to leave Grandma You're not recording. Oh, you are recording. <laughs> and I'll see you later. Here we go. We're just pulling up to the house and there's Daddy's shoveling the sidewalk. Daddy. I had I got gas on my hoodie, so I stopped at my brother's and his girlfriend gave me a hoodie. So I changed. Go say hi to Daddy, go get a hug. Oh you're not gonna get a hug? Hi Easily, who is it? There he is shoveling, we got a little bit of snow. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> hey, honey. Hey, I'm staying where it's warm. All right, I'm I coming. Get some stuff. So, um, we made it home. Time I was just thinking about this whole thing in this pandemic how crazy it all is. There's like tons of cars on the highway and I'm surprised because I thought everybody was staying home but I guess a lot of people are not staying home. And people probably have to go to work. Some people are out just for a drive because they're bored. Maybe. She's so ha happy. She's so happy to be home. <laughs> Come here. Oh, um, so I got. I shouldn't have thrown that, should I? Oh, that's okay. So I got, um, eight dozen farm eggs that are not washed so we can keep them out of the fridge. So I love that because we know some people, you're my parents who have farm eggs. I'm so happy to be home. This is my husband, cleans the house really good. Can't see it, There's he's got a candle going. It smells so good in here. So I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, she's so happy. She <laughs> Are you happy, Pace? Yes, you're so happy. Are you? Aww. One thing for us that we're uncertain about right now is when we're gonna be able to continue our embryo adoption process because right now things are slightly on hold. There's a little bit more legalities that I have to finish doing for the clinic. One of them being the surgery that I need that I told you guys about in the last vlog. And maybe this lighting is really bad. I just looked at the camera. Um, 
anyways, so I have to get this surgery and I can't, I don't think I can get it. I haven't heard anything yet. I haven't got a call from the clinic booking me or anything. So waiting on that. And of course nothing can proceed until that's done. But also my clinic called me and said that they aren't sure if they have to shut down. So I think now the way it is where we live is the non-essential things have to close whatever places, work businesses, whatever. Um, and so I think that's gonna mean our clinic. I might be wrong, but I have to find out if they're shutting their doors for a while. And I don't know for sure, but um, I really hope that we can obviously like move forward, but without getting my surgery, I won't be able to. So like, it's honestly crossed my mind before where I'm like, I would love it if I could just go on with the process without getting the surgery, but if I don't, it can um, oftentimes result in a miscarriage and we don't want that. Uh, we don't want to risk that because we only have four embryos and so sometimes they don't survive the thaw or, you know, or if a cycle doesn't work, then you have to try again. I don't want to like potentially have any heartbreak over that. So I'd rather just have the best chance at giving these embryos life and so, yeah, so that's a little bit of a, um, I mean, it's hard for me because uh, in Jamaica, I definitely had to deal with that, just like that frustration of not being able to grow our family anymore when I wanted to. So when I was in Jamaica, I, you know, had to deal with all these emotions of like wanting to grow our family, but not being able to. And of course we were like totally open for if a miracle happened, but it it didn't and I mean like you know adopting again wasn't something that we could do which is why we came to this conclusion of just like embryo adoption being one of the best choices for us right now because of the time frame of how um, long adoption takes but yeah so we are you know having this on hold now for a few months we are dealing with some more like putting off of that and it's okay like in the grand scheme of things, I mean, we have to focus on what really matters and, you know, just being healthy and happy and everything is, and together <laughs> is great. You know, even if it is a few months um, longer, it's, it's tough. I don't want to wait. <laughs> I don't want to wait, but especially because I'm not getting any younger. So it's a bit tough, but in Jamaica when I wanted to, you know, wished I could grow our family, wished I could have like, um, you know, our kids closer together. I had to like kind of, you know, let that go. It wasn't what was happening for us. And I, you know, I don't want to focus on it. And um, I don't want to focus on it and be devastated and, you know, but um, Dax is going to be an amazing big brother. I also know that having kids with a further age gap will be a blessing in a lot of ways. I mean, Dax will be so helpful. And I mean, I mean, he can even help with cooking, to be honest. So <laughs> there's like so many blessings in it and it'll be, it'll still be amazing. It's, it's, it's really good to be home. You guys are having a snuggle. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can recycle it. Um, your teacher called on the way and she said that she's gonna load up some work for you on your Google Classroom. Oh, come on. <laughs> I gotta unpack all that stuff um, and move back into our house. Yay! So did you make it for the 14 days since we were gone, hon? Barely. Barely made it, but I'm alive and well. So you you were working? Working working at home. Yep. I didn't leave the house for two weeks except to get the mail and that was about it. I haven't seen a human face until you guys showed up. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a beautiful, mwah, beautiful face. Like, I think it's good because we broke things up. We're, we don't know how much longer this is gonna go on. Dax, are you, are you ready to get back to school? Mm -mm. <laughs> I, I want to be chill a little bit, but you want to chill? It's not my time yet. It's not my time. Oh, oh mom. Mom. She's shaking. She hates being on camera. She's sniffing. <laughs> she hates being on camera. She's not a camera dog. Dax, what are you doing? He's so jealous of my affections. He's <laughs> taking her away so I can't love her. Um, um, this whole being confined to our houses has really got me thinking about just like 
how things were in Jamaica for us and um, like we we went through basically an isolation period for seven years <laughs> and you know we never knew how long it would take and this whole thing we don't know how long it's gonna take either and I'm just praying it's quick and like the the feeling that people have of the uncertainty of like not knowing um, when they're gonna go back to work maybe or when you know they'll be able to go see their friends or their family and when we were in Jamaica there was like especially in the earlier years because we were there for seven years um, not knowing when our adoption process would finish um, was extremely difficult. I mean, it was like waiting months and months on end, not knowing if there was any bit of progress. There was, you know, um, months actually, like in between when I would get to see TJ. So he would come down and visit as much as he could and then I would come home every now and then and see him, but it wasn't that much because it was hard to leave and be gone this, this far because Canada was two flights for me to get home. Anyway, um, but yeah, the, the feeling that people are probably feeling right now would be similar to what I went through. I think that's why me personally, I'm taking this isolation thing a little bit better than, than I would if I had never been in that process that I went through. So this whole thing going on with this pandemic reminds me so much of like Jamaica for us because I mean, in the earlier years, I dealt with a lot of emotions that at the time even I couldn't maybe put words to, like I didn't fully know what was going on inside of me, but I think it was grieving this life that I had and that I wasn't able to live my life. I wasn't able to see my family um, and there was a lot of unknown. And then the trouble with that was that because I didn't know anything, I didn't know what was going on with the process of our adoption, I didn't know when it would be over, it was extremely painful. and when people would ask how things were going or what was happening with the process, like I couldn't, I couldn't ever really even say anything to anybody, I didn't know. And so this pandemic reminds me so much of that where you're just like, I don't, you know, you know I, don't, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know when it's gonna be over. I don't know what to tell my kids. And so I think like Dax is handling it really well cause he's quite used to this like life that we lived in Jamaica where there wasn't really much that we knew. <laughs> We didn't know how long things would go on or whatever. I, my heart goes out to people who are feeling those feelings because I know what it's like to feel those feelings. You know, dealing with um, feeling unsure that your finances are gonna carry you or that you're gonna make it. And I just want you like you to hear me really care about you guys. Anybody who's out there like suffering in that way, that um, we're praying for you. And so if you have any prayer requests that you want us to pray for you, we would love to, if you wanna leave a comment. Um, if you've lost a job or you're struggling with your health, maybe you have caught COVID-19 or someone that you know has or your family has, we would love to pray for you guys. Like for me, the amazing thing in this has kind of been that like, I mean, in Jamaica, I was all by myself and no one had understood or experience something like that, being removed from your life. Like that was the thing for me that was the most difficult because when you're used to seeing your friends and living your life and then you can't do that anymore, it's a very odd feeling for a lot of people. I just find this very crazy. Like we're all doing this together. We're all, you know, experiencing the same thing and um, having to distance ourselves. And for a lot of people, I think that's probably very difficult. So I'm just interested to see kind of what comes out of this and what are the positives that'll come out of this because there's going to be some interesting things that happen, I think, because of, of being going through this, this um, you know, separation of our lives and everything. I kind of like it. I think we're taking a step back and maybe reevaluating what's important in our lives. Being with our family and all the, you know what? I will admit I have laughed a lot at lots of the jokes that talk about, you know, spouses having to be close together and how they're not gonna get along and families that aren't gonna get along because they have to be together all the time and not getting a break from one another. <laughs> but that stuff is really telling. When you think about it and you take a step back and you look and you're like, wow, I actually can't handle my family. Like there's something wrong with that. And so I hope that we're all taking, you know, some time to think about what 
is really important to us and if it's if your family is important to you then you know letting this time be like um, letting that stuff work out in you where you are able to be relational with the ones you love you know and happy with the ones you love and not I mean not take it for granted because this is your family and these are the ones you love we should be able to have harmony in our homes I don't know there's just lots of things it's been this whole thing I it's making me kind of think a lot more on just like um, the differences of life here in Canada before the pandemic hit and we all had to isolate and then life now I do like that it kind of simplifies life a little bit and causes us to slow down but I just think that you know in our regular lives before COVID-19 you know people were constantly in a rush and I think like we took a lot for granted and I hope that people reevaluate yeah just how you treat people and how you live your lives I find this Definitely to be a fascinating time in which we live. And no matter what happens in the days to come and how this changes our lives, I just, um, I hope we take a lot of good out of it. And I am sad about what this is doing to our economic state. <laughs> I'm worried about that in a way. I'm just not thrilled about having to, like our country go in put out a whole bunch of money to help people make it, which is great that, that they're gonna do that. But then like for years to come, our, you know, our country's gonna have to pay for that somehow and that'll be probably through taxes. Not looking forward to that if that happens, right? But for the moment, we will enjoy the gas prices. I think that they're about what they were when I was a kid. Got a lot of thoughts going on, but uh, I guess that's it for now. So something that I've never said in my videos, I always forget to say, is if you like this, then give it a like and subscribe because it does help my channel and it kind of spurs me on. It makes me want to do this more because I see that you're into it. So I definitely love talking to you guys. <laughs> I expected being on YouTube that I maybe like wouldn't get as many nice comments, but I love reading what you guys say. Dax gets a lot of comments about his locks. Mm -hmm. People, hey, I had a comment the other day. Somebody wanted to know, why do you have locks? And... Because then if I didn't have locks, I would be bold. <laughs> That's right. So did you get them because you liked them or is it just because mommy started doing them on you when you were little? Yeah, that's because. It is why. But of course he has the option to cut them. Do you want to cut them? Yes. You do? Yes. I would cry. I want I want like the ones, the things that... um. You're wearing gloves. I know. I'm okay. playing Play-Doh. Oh, okay. Because there's oil in it. We made homemade Play-Doh. Yeah, so we did. So, um, actually, I have some right here. Grandma and Dax made Play-Doh and we brought it home. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to cut your hair for sure? Are you going to cut your hair? I might just cut the fizzy parts. Like the ends, the tips. You might trim it a little? I might cut like the tips, not like the whole, like, the, like up here and like that. Okay. No. I'll cut just like down here low. Why? You want because I want to start getting it shorter. Okay, so you you want to maybe just cut it shorter, but not like not the like whole thing. really short. Yeah. Just like you don't want just it like to keep the getting tips, longer. Just like the tips, like down yeah. here. So you're wearing gloves because you're playing with play-doh. Yeah, and there's oil in it, so I don't feel like I like oil. So. Okay, all right. And he found our glove stash. Well, so now it's the end of the video. Yep. Like and subscribe. And leave like us a comment. And leave us a comment down below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And give video. us a thumbs up. Yeah, if, if you like what you see. Right? You do. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Say goodbye, Peasy. Goodbye, guys. Bye. Peasy loves isolation. She doesn't want us to ever leave her. <laughs>